today I am doing a collaboration with Ryan the Rhino Leneve. Um, we have been talking about this for quite a while, like it's been going on probably four months now. Uh, <laughs> we started trying to track down all of the um, all of the cereal themed pancake flavors, which I guess Dunkaroos isn't technically a cereal flavor, but it is now, so whatever, right? Um, our original plan was to eat, I think, five of each. Uh, we thought the number 25 sounded too scary. <laughs> so we settled on 20. Uh, so four of each. Um, all together, I think this only comes out to around four pounds, uh, if we measured correctly, hopefully we did. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to try to do here. The goal is to finish every stack. And the winner uh, between Ryan and I, whoever wins, whoever finishes everything, or whoever finishes fastest, if both of us finish, <laughs> um, gets to pick the next, the next food that we do. You know as a collaboration so it should be fun uh i have extremely high hopes for ryan not as high hopes for myself <laughs> because i've never tried to eat 20 pancakes before so you know should be very interesting I'm a little terrified not gonna lie uh, shout out to my mom for coming over it's like at the drop of a hat and making all of these pancakes for me because honestly when I agreed to pancakes I forgot about the part where I couldn't really make pancakes. <laughs> this food is like my arch nemesis when it comes to cooking or baking whatever you want to consider it. Um, I burn every single pancake I try to make so thanks to my mom is a lifesaver and she came and made all of them for me. So and my dad is also a lifesaver because he took Dexter and Monsoor are fishing, so they wouldn't bother me while I was trying to do this. <laughs> oh my god. I just don't like talking in front of people. It's weird. Anyway, that's a me thing. I don't know if I'm just going to try to like taste all of them first, or if I should finish a stack first, then go to the next stack, because I have never tried any of these flavors, so I'm kind of excited to try them, but I don't want to be sick of them by the time I get to like the third stack or something. I'm uh, not really enjoy the flavors. So, you know what? We'll see how it goes, like I always say. I'm going to try to finish all of them. Don't know if I can promise that, but I'm going to try. You'll at least, you know, get to see me attempt it. Uh, they came with like, some of them came with frosting and different cereal toppings and stuff. Also, obviously this is Fruity Pebbles and it came with its own like coinciding syrup. Dunkaroos, which comes with frosting. Lucky Charms, which comes with cereal topping. And Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which also comes with a cereal topping. Captain Crunch, which comes with its own syrup. And also the three pebbles come with cereal topping as well. So anyway, I'll just apply all of that as we go. I also have you know, like my favorite syrup when I'm actually being healthy is sugar-free. So I have that on standby for the ones that don't have their own special syrups. Anyway, I suppose, you know what I did? I forgot my timer. So it can be one second and I'm gonna go get that. I have my timer. So. Hopefully these are all still warm. I kept them, or we kept them in the oven as we were making them. Uh, it was quite a process. I think the preparation for this probably took an hour, around an hour. So, you know, let's see how long it takes for me to eat them <laughs> or to give up. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna obviously move these boxes out of the way as I go. I believe we'll start with, uh, should we start with Lucky Charms? Where is the Lucky Charms topping? This one? All right. <sighs> I'm nervous, but let's push play. One, two, three, go. Press start, push play, you know, whatever. I have this, and I have my syrup because there's not a special one for this. So I'm gonna, first I'm gonna drizzle. And I'm so hungry too. I mean, I always say that, but honestly, went to the gym this morning and I was starving then, and I'm starving now, so probably that's a little bit of overkill. I'm aware of that. I'm completely aware. Whew. Pancakes. The one food that always makes me feel so guilty when I eat it. Mm. Pretty good though. to this one.
slightly warm, so that's good. Um, I'm trying to decide if the Lucky Charms flavor would be as strong without the Lucky Charms sprinkle on top. Hmm. You can kind of taste the marshmallows a little bit. But they're good either way. Like, especially as like a novelty pancake. I love Lucky Charms. It's one of my favorite cereals. I always make sure I eat it on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> pancakes lucky charms pancakes followed just right around the five minute mark it took me longer than i thought but i was like having a hard time swallowing for some reason <clears throat> could be because i've never done pancakes before i mean i never really try to eat them fast honestly i'm not gonna worry about the toppings okay i should just give those to my dog because she's down here like begging me uh don't know, I can't choose. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Which comes with another topping of its own. No coinciding syrup, so I get to use my own sugar-free again. It'll save me a little bit, maybe. Doesn't it look pretty though? I think it looks super pretty. Okay, let's dig in. Just knock off all the cinnamon toast crunch right off the rip. Let me just taste it by itself. Hmm. Very, very dry. trying to keep the stack intact so it doesn't fall. sure what I think of these. They're not bad. And they do have like a slight cinnamony flavor. <laughs> but it's not like it's not as good as the just straight up cinnamon toast crunch. I would rather have that any day. Cake and try to finish these at the end. Okay, second 
gets that done, 12 minutes, 42 seconds. That took a minute. All right. Uh -huh. mm. I'm so, so undecided right now. Of what I want to do next and what I want to do going forward. I'm not going to lie. I'm already a little bit tired of pancakes. <laughs> so. I might just... What should I do? Should I, maybe, okay, I'm like running out of time. I'm just gonna do it. I might just eat like two of each and then just <laughs> go that way. See how far I get. This, first of all, is the only box that has any batter, like any mix left in it. So if you do go to the store and get these, these are all pretty much just like one shots. These are all empty for one batch of pancakes. This one is like a normal, like conventional box of pancake mix that it has like enough for multiple servings. I kind of think it's weird that all of them didn't, but whatever. This one has its own coinciding syrup, Ocean Blue. And this has actually been out, I think since like 2020, but I've never tried it because I don't eat pancakes normally. I mean, sometimes I, mean, I love pancakes. I just try not to. If I do, they're usually like protein pancakes. So I use sugar-free syrup. I don't use Ocean Blue Captain Crunch flavor syrup. <laughs> So I haven't ever, I've never bought this before until now, but I've always wanted to, so it's kind of, I'm a little bit excited. We'll see how it goes. The syrup definitely smells. Ooh, it's cute though, look at it. It looks very pretty. I don't know if you can see it as well from your angle, but. Definitely smells like Captain Crunch. I may or may not use more of this. We'll see how it goes. Hmm. Okay. These were the first pancakes made today in this preparation. So if they're even a little bit warm, like we kept them warm in the oven, like I said, but we'll see how it goes. And it was still like, I don't know, if you make pancakes, usually like the first few pancakes you make in your pans, like suck. And it kind of takes a minute for the pan to just start making smoother pancakes. I don't know. This is the first batch, so. Why do I the worst looking one on the table? Hmm, let me see. Okay, these pancakes are so weird. I'm using my fingers. All right. <laughs> That'll be half, so that would be half of the stack, I believe. If I choose to continue this way. <laughs> and it does seem early on for me to be getting like flavor fatigue, which I get very easily as you all know. But like I said, it's my first time attempting to do any type of pancake challenge. So they set pretty heavy in your stomach, I feel like. So I wasn't prepared for that part. <clears throat> These ones have a very slight, very subtle Captain Crunch flavor. Honestly, the smell of this syrup is stronger than the, the flavor. I thought it was gonna be like, with as strong as that smell is, I thought it was just going to be like overpowering tap and crunch flavor in the syrup, but not really. Most of the flavor I'm getting is definitely from the pancake itself, which I'm surprised by. <clears throat> minutes in so I'm not saying that I'm done with those I'm just saying we're gonna move on to this one <laughs> Dunkaroos which comes with frosting <clears throat> which is this one I believe 
It's not a name on it, but I'm pretty sure this is the one. Oh, I don't have to get scissors. I have to get scissors. Scissors for the next one. Cool thing was this required no extra preparation. Like a lot of things that have frosting with them, you had to kind of mix it up yourself. This was not a requirement. <laughs> Same with Rudy Pebbles. It said you could mix it with milk to give it a thinner consistency if, you know, desired. But I did not care one way or the other, so I did not do that. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna do syrup on these yet. I might do syrup. I should have like stacked them, like pancake frosting, pancake frosting. That would have made a pretty tower. But, you know, missed opportunities and such. And I don't think I need all that frosting anyway. Let's see how it goes. The frosting gives it a very good flavor, but once again, the pancake itself doesn't really taste like Dunkaroos. It kind of just tastes like a pancake. Should I add syrup to this mix? Hmm. Let's get all the bites off. That'll make it equal up to like a half stack. It looks like so much more now. <laughs> okay. Definitely syrup. That's dry pile of pancakes. <sighs> I really don't want any more pancakes. I don't even think it's as much the flavor right now as it's just like the the sugar rush is kind of hitting me, so. Need to finish those three bites of this stack and I'll move on to that stack and then we'll see how much further I can make myself do this how much longer I can make myself do this okay I need to focus I need to quit being a baby Or not, so I'm sorry. In advance, if so. Okay. I finished that half stack. And it's like 27, 26 right now, three minutes. I think what I'll do. No! Is I'll take this little half stack here. Put it there. And then just stack this one. That might, that'll be my leftover plate. Alright. Last but certainly not least. Actually, Fruity Pebbles are probably one of my favorite flavors of all time. Favorite cereals. Like, I like any type of Fruity Pebble flavored thing. I don't know. I just like Fruity Pebbles. So, anyway. I'm a little excited about this one. 
this one actually, I'm just realizing. Fruity Pebble Pancake Mix, obviously. Uh, it also came with frosting, it came with Fruity Pebble Topping, and it comes with its own Fruity Pebble Syrup. So, if this doesn't taste like Fruity Pebbles, then we have a problem. I'm just not realizing that there's like four things all at once. Like three different toppings you put on this to finish the stack. Oh my gosh, my body hates me right now. It hates me so much. It's like, what are you doing? Ryan has probably already finished all 20 of his pancakes, if I had to guess. He's actually improved so much lately. It's very impressive. Me? <laughs> I've improved on some things, and I've stayed stagnant in the others, so. <laughs> but whatever. It's all just for fun, so I'm good with it. I don't like... <laughs> If I have frosting in my notes for the remainder of the video, I'm sorry. Once again. Okay. Now keep in mind, this was the one that was supposed to kind of, it was said you could add milk to it to give it a thinner consistency to make it better for drizzling, but I'm not really worried because I have a knife. I can just spread. I can just spread. My daughter Daphne, when she was sick, like became obsessed with cocoa pebbles. <laughs> Not fruity pebbles as much, you know, she always liked fruity pebbles, but for some reason when she was sick and it got harder for her to swallow or eat in general, she loved cocoa pebbles because they would, she would like let them set and they would get soggy and then she would just like, you know, go to town. It was her favorite. Eventually we switch, had to switch to like cocoa, weeks or whatever, is that what it is? Like the, the one that's like, kind of like oatmeal. Yeah. Cream of wheat, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Okay. So much, so much. Fruity pebbles syrup. And while I'm also like overjoyed, I'm also not. <laughs> it's because, we'll see how much. I should at least like, I want to be able to at least finish this stack. All right, like that's, we're at 31.41 right now. If I finish just this stack, I would be like, okay, that's fine. That's basically 15 pancakes. Um, and I would be fine with that for my first attempt at doing this. I'm definitely gonna lose Ryan. I know Ryan's winning, Ryan. Don't even lie to me. I know you're gonna like kill this challenge. <sighs> oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna, I, I need to put the syrup on. I need to shut up and put the syrup on. It's gonna be pretty at least. It's gonna be very pleasing to the eyes. I wish I could just take, my phone is what I use to record by the way. Or else I would be taking such a cool picture of this right now. I'm not gonna lie. That tastes like fruity pebbles. No doubt. <sighs> I'm one of those people who takes a picture of their food before they eat it. Sometimes other people's food too, depending on how cool it is. Like, if it's very like aesthetically pleasing, then I will definitely take a picture of it before I eat it. The phone eats first, so. That's my logic. Whew. All right, wish me luck, guys. I'm very scared. I think this was the last, the last pancake made. So, I mean, at this point, 
you know, they haven't been on the warmer for 30 minutes, so. But technically these are the freshest. They won't be warm anymore, unfortunately. Oh my God, I'm very terrified. <laughs> You know what? I'm just gonna cut the half off right now. I shouldn't. I should just be like, you know what? You're finishing the freaking stack, whether you like it or not. But to make it easier mentally, at least I hope, I'm gonna focus on this stack first. Let's take my first bite of fruity pebble craziness. <sighs> probably the best tasting so far. It has a very powerful taste. Um, I mean, how could it not? <laughs> the frosting isn't pretty pebble flavored, but it might as well be. But everything else is, so. I don't know. I'm kind of tasting fruity pebbles with each bite, even the ones that don't have frosting and like a lot of syrup on them. So I think the pancakes do a good job of actually tasting like fruity pebbles without all the extra stuff. Unlike the Dunkaroos, which just tasted like, the frosting tasted like Dunkaroo frosting, but the pancakes just tasted like nothing. So flavor-wise, these win, hands down. But like texture is kind of weird. I feel like, maybe it's just me. Oh, I'm slouching, that means I'm slowing down. And I'm talking more, it's 36 minutes now. Whew, okay. take this bite. I really want to finish like this plate at least. I don't even care about that plate anymore, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I can do this or not. this in my mouth. Haha, uh -huh, that's what she said. Alright. Okay, I just stopped the timer. It's been 48 minutes. And I just don't want to eat any more of this. <sighs> so, 
I failed, I'm sure. I'm sure Ryan ate way more or finished all of his. And probably a way shorter amount of time it took me to not finish all of mine. <laughs> anyway, so I would say this is four pancakes here collectively. This, probably one, one and a half. I think this starts. So, I would say that I ate around 15 pancakes. 14 and a half. See ya. 14 and a half or 15. Uh, I'm supposed to have 20, but nope. <laughs> Dexter is... Dexter is the goat. He just locked the door on his way out so nobody could get in. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so yeah, this is what I have left. Sorry for that weird brief interruption. So, 20 pancakes down to this. Um, I should just force these down, but I'm just not going to. <laughs> I feel bad enough. If Ryan wins, Ryan wins. He deserves it. Um, and I obviously do not. It was fun though. I'm glad I finally got to try all of the different flavors because I'd been curious for quite a while. Glad that I don't have to be curious anymore. Now when I see them on the shelves, I'm gonna be like, ew, and I'm gonna turn the other way. <laughs> not because they were gross, but just because that's how my body is interpreting it right now because I'm so sick of pancake and sugar. So the the Fruity Pebbles is actually pretty good. I just, oh my God, I'm still like tempted to just finish it, but I'm just not going to because I, I just can't. I'm just not going to. But yeah, if I were to rate these, like, or at least put these in order, I would say Fruity Pebbles, number one. <sighs> kind of tough. Probably Captain Crunch, honestly, number two. Lucky Charms, number three. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, number four. And Dunker is number five. Uh, this syrup was okay. Wasn't a very strong flavor. The Fruity Pebbles was very, very strong flavor and actually pretty good uh, if you're into that kind of thing. Two tablespoons of that is 110 calories. Two tablespoons of this is only 100, interestingly. And two tablespoons of this is five. So, you know, do with that information what you will. Anyway, I had fun. I'm glad that it's over. Can't wait to see Ryan's video. Um, definitely check that out and I will have his links in the description. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching me fail another home challenge that I created by myself. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't count as a loss if it's not real, right? At least that's what I tell myself. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.